Now just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful. I'd help you, but I've honestly forgotten which doll was hooked up to which power converter. Some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now, and also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. That red battery will provide enough energy to enable the IDS device to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Here's this dolly got stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate.
seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Are those hard candies? They're a little... fussy. Ugh. Pleasant. Nice job. No, not really. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. Most things in life, timing is key. I came across Ike some time ago, and he decided to follow me back to the manor. I believe Ike stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects.
not half bad. This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington IV, or Widget I. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. I specifically constructed his monocle to fit him. Who knew it would be so impossible to find a cat-sized monocle? Preposterous! Sadly, Widget I has since passed on, but his memory is alive. Somewhat. So I want to clarify that Dolly is great for cloning inanimate objects, but she's not entirely capable with organic ones. Note that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. Wombat. I keep wanting to take it down, but he won't let me. This place is truly fascinating. That, combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here, is certainly puzzling.
It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. I'm fairly certain Desmond there will come in rather handy.
cozy over there. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's a heatner number, and the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. Could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. This is my ice gun, Freezy Ray Vaughn. Oh, I really yeah. wish I couldn't do that. This is a compression platform which uses photoelectric energy to function. Like a spring, the energy pulses below the platform excite the molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. Careful.
now I see a giant pit filled with keys. 